one thing that is certain is that the market doesn't like uncertainty. Um, higher risk means higher discount rate, which means lower uh, stock prices. And so the market, uh, there's nothing more uh, risky or unsettling than the president of the United States being in the hospital uh, with very serious condition, which he obviously has. So no matter what your political affiliation or outlook or thoughts on the president, uh, the market doesn't like uncertainty and uh, clearly uh, that's what we had last week. And so things seem to be moving in the right direction. They're talking about him being discharged tomorrow. Um, they're talking about uh, some of the scares that we had last couple of days seem to be going away. And so again, I don't mean to be a partisan on this, but the markets don't like uncertainty and the markets would like to see him back in the White House. But the president says he's feeling enthusiastic. Does that not really square with what you're seeing, at least in the sh short term, since we've had him admitted to the hospital? I mean, this is the thing. This is the president who's going to portray this in an upbeat fashion, no matter what. And we see him doing that in these latest tweets and, and videos that he's released. Also, the pictures of him working away, supposedly, inside Walter Reed. But what, what, one of the things we hear from doctors again and again is that this is a disease that's very tricky and that you can be pulled under at any time with very little notice. So is that enthusiasm a little too positive, do you think? Sure. So everything for this president is always great. Um, his golf courses are the greatest in the world. His turnouts at his events are always the largest in history. That is definitely his, his attitude. But I think people in America are pretty used to that at this point. So we would expect nothing less. We should all remember that um, the fatality rate for this disease, although it's a horrible disease, is still very low. Uh, even for someone of, of Mr. Trump's age, the vast majority of people who get this disease do recover in a relatively short period of time. I don't mean to try to minimize uh, the 200,000 people who have died from this, but this is a disease in which the vast number of most people recover. And I think that is the expectation of the uh, stock market in the U.S. and it's the expectation of the investment community. Hi there, Charles. It's Dan here in Dubai as well. You've seen the latest polling out of the United States too. The latest Wall Street Journal NBC poll showing that Joe Biden has a 14-point lead nationally now over the president. What do you think markets are pricing in here? It seems like pre-coronavirus diagnosis for President Trump, uh, perhaps we were aligning more towards a Biden presidency. However, now that we've seen this diagnosis being priced by the markets, do you think perhaps the table of terms turns. What are markets trying to tell us about the outcome of the election as it stands? Yeah, so the, the polls and the, the markets that I look to are actually the betting markets where people are putting their money where their mouth is. Obviously, the polls had a horrible track record four years ago in predicting this. But the, the Las Vegas betting markets are saying that um, Mr. Biden has about a 65 percent chance of winning this election and uh, Mr. Trump has about a 35 percent chance. That's not polls, that's betting lines. And um, that would be okay if for the markets, if the Republicans held the Senate. Um, what's tough for the markets is a, a Democratic sweep. If, if Mr. Biden won and the Democrats took the Senate, uh, since they're likely to keep the House, then that would mean that a lot of less favorable uh, legislation to the business community would be likely to pass higher tax rates, more regulation, and those are things that the market doesn't like. And so I would say right now, the market is is um, factoring in a probable Biden election, um, but we will see the more likely that becomes, it's probably not great for the market in the short term.